Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to use pipe operator in R. So what is it? In R, the pipe operator is percent greater percent. So this sign, if you are not familiar with F sharp, you can think of this operator as being similar to the plus in a ggplot2 statement. Its function is very similar to that one that you have seen of the F sharp operator. It takes the output of one statement and makes it the input of the next statement. When describing it, you can think of it as a then. Now let's go back to R Studio. First of all, you need to download Deplier. Um, so I've already installed Deplier here in this environment. We can run Deplier directly. So call the library for Deplier. And then we can try to compute the logarithm of x. If we assign 100 to x and then you run the function for log you will get 4.6 and similarly um, you will get the same results actually using the pipe operator with the x at the beginning and then percent greater percent with log function so this two statement is equivalent Next, we can try the round function. You put pi and round up to be six digits, uh, round up to be six decimal place. And using the pipe operator, you get the same result. So these are just single basic piping. Um, and then I think it will give you the advantage of a cleaner code when you have a more complex argument. We can try to manipulate a data. Um, so we have a data called baby names. So these are the baby names from the United States. Let's call this library and show you the data. We have uh, five columns here, the year, the sex, the baby names and also the counts and proportion. So now let's do some operation on this data set. We will filter the baby names um, based on their sex will be male and then name equals to Taylor and also select the variable n the count and do a sum over this variable. So this is the task we're going to perform on this data set. Let's run this command. So you will get uh, about 109852 number of male babies named Taylor. So since this is a very long statement, we wanted to break down it into single functions for the operation that we did for the baby names. The baby names is the data that we wanted to operate on. So the first function is filter, and we will set these two conditions. And then the next function is select the variable that we will um, do the summary statistic. The last function is the sum, sum over the variable that we selected. Um, so this statement, this piece of code that using the pipe operator will return the same result as the one we write in one row, but it will look more clear. Um, so I hope you learned something out of this video, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.